<laughs> Hola, Verónica. How are you? Hi, good morning, everybody. ¿Qué tal, Gerardo? So, um, very, very excited to um, chat to you today um, because, you know, there's so much that, that we can chat about. And um, Veronica, you are a social cook, you are a private chef, you are a entrepreneur when it comes to food. You, you are many things, you know, um, and it's, it's amazing, you know, that you get to do all these different things. And, uh, and, and it, it is, is, is there for a privilege to, you know, share this opportunity to chat and there's so much to cover and there is so much that we might as well get onto it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm kind of in the middle of many gastronomic projects, but I'm trying to deal with them and I'm having fun. So I guess the most important part of life sometimes is try to do things that you like. And if you can make money of them, if you can, could be nice. If not, find somewhere where you can make money and then keep doing the things you like. <laughs> That's, Never that's, stop. Well, that's that's the beauty of life, eh? It's always it's always a challenge. It's always you know looking for something else to do, and and at the at the end of the day, as long as we're doing what we're passionate about, then it's no work, and that's that that's true. a good thing. So, um, tell me, and my first question to you is, where in Mexico are you from? Well, I'm from Mexico City. Okay. Chilanga, yes. just like me. <laughs> Chilanga, well, no, see, I don't know, I've never spoke like that, like the Chilangos properly, that tone of voice, but probably, yeah. I'm from Mexico City, I prefer. I'm okay. from the old Mexico. <laughs> As I from the... call mi pueblo. <laughs> we, we are from the land of the Mexicas and all the other amazing cultures. <laughs> Um, okay, so so how long have you been in, in living in Spain for? Well, I got there in I got here in two thousand and one, so it's it'll be almost twenty years. Um, I miss my mom, <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, uh, I'm really enjoying the experience of sharing. Um, what I know, which is Mexican food and what I learned in my life. So it's kind of a continuity, even that you emigrate. So you kind of give, you f keep on the line of the things you like and the things you do. I don't know, it's more this, what I do. <laughs> that's my uh, but that's But that's, that's, that's generally with um, a lot of the Mexicans and I include myself in the list of people that you know, um, we we sort of become like representatives of Mexico in the world, and that opens you know a lot of opportunities, but also a lot of responsibility comes attached to it. You know, because um, you know we are supposed to know. You know, people come to us and ask us, so you know, what's you know what's your favorite Mexican food, and why why do Mexicans like chili? You know, why <laughs> is is do you drink tequila? You know, or what's mezcal and, and all these little things. You know, and this I think there is this this responsibility that comes to it, and and. Each of the Mexicans that I've talked to that I live overseas, they all, we all sort of talk about this, um, you know, this ambassador role that we have, you know, ambassador to our culture, ambassador to Mexico. Yeah, a proper ambassador is nice. 